Hello and welcome to WebDemandos YouTube channel and you're watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video, we're going to see about the data types float and double. Float. Float is a single precision 32-bit IEEE 754 floating point. So if there is a floating point value that you want to store in a variable in Java, you can use the float data type variable and store them. For example, if you go for a floating point value like 230.7 or something like that, then you can use float to store them but you want to make sure that you store it in the right format. I'll show that in the declaration part of this video. And the default value on float is 0.0f, where f stands for float. So when you're declaring a floating point value in float, you have to use the f at the end of declaration. So float is mainly used to save memory in large arrays of floating point numbers. If you remember, we have seen the same kind of a line in byte. So byte can be used to save memory in large arrays of byte. So same goes with float. Float is also used to save memory in large arrays of floating point numbers. So if you want to store something with floating point numbers, then you can use float with large arrays. So float should never be used for precise values such as currency. So in order to save some precise values like currency or some percentage that you want to make sure that the calculation is very precise, don't use float. Float is not the variable or the data type that you should use when you want the calculations or the denominations to be very precise. So the next data type that we're going to see is double. Double is a double precision 64-bit IEEE 754 floating point. Again, it can be used to store the floating point values, but double can be used to store decimal values. So if there is a decimal value, the first preference that programmers or the developers would take is double. Double's default value is 0.0d, where d stands for double. Double is generally used as the default data type for decimal values, as I said before, generally the default choice for every developer or programmer that you can find who uses Java as their core programming language. So double should now be used for precise values such as currency gain. So when compared to float, this is okay, but yet again, you should not use both float and double for precise values like currencies, percentages, marks, or any calculations that you want the precise answer for, don't use float and double. There is a separate class uh, in Java that uses math functions in order to do those uh, decimal value calculations. So I'll go through that in another video. We're not going to see that right now. So I'm going to go into the declaration part of the double and float right now. So I'm going to create a file. I'm going to use the notepad with administrative rights. As usual, I'm going to import the java.io.star. So the class name would be float, sorry about that, we start with the caps and double. So I'm going to create the main method, static void main, for the parameters. I'm going to declare the float first. So float space float variable is equal to so something around 217.4 f. Don't forget the f at the end. And for double, you can use variable is equal to something around 120.4. It's not necessary to use D in here, but you can, of course, it's not wrong. So I'm going to print it out. System.out.println. So I'm going to print out the float variable first. And system.out.println. Sorry about that. And we're going to print out the double variable. So I want to save it inside my JDK demo folder. So it's going to be the same name as we have given in the class name. Saved it. And in order to run it, I'm going to use my command prop with administrative permissions. So I opened it, going to my folder where I have saved it. So it's going to be in program files, Java, JDK 1.8, then. 
So in here, I'm going to compile my file float and double that Java. And I have a problem in here. I just made a mistake with the spelling of string. I'm going to compile it again. So it's compiled successfully. I'm going to print it out, float and double. So right now we have printed out. Let's actually remove the F, check it out whether it's going to compile properly or not. No. So that's what I said in compatible type. So you have to use F in here in order to make it work. So right now it's printing fine. So you can also use D in here. It's not going to give you any kind of errors. As I said before, it's going to compile fine. So the one advantage that you can get is double doesn't need you to mandatorily specify the D in there. But float, you have to specify the F at the end of the variable declaration and initialization or assigning a value to float. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. And, uh, and if you find this video useful, please like the video and also share it with your friends. And, and if you've not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. And you can share that in the comment section or in the Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter feeds of our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.